All right, so uh, I got some of the uh, clay here from my quartz that I'm soaking in water. I'm going to soften that up and begin to make some pottery and see what kind of uh, interesting things I can get from that. This is part of my homestead, uh, harmonious homestead living segment. Thank you very much. Many blessings. Alright, hi. Welcome. Today, uh, at Sagami Art Studio, a new harmonious homestead living program. I've got my clay from my quartz, my Arkansas quartz, Atlantean Tartarian quartz, and I am putting it into the sieve to strain it so that I can make pottery projects out of it, clay pots, dishes, horns, uh, harmonic instruments, I'm very into harmonics and frequencies, and so what I'm doing today is um, I'm sieving it down so that I get any uh, large particles, which I've already done previously, but I'm also adding uh, activated charcoal. Uh, this is coconut activated charcoal. In the future, I plan on using actual coal from coal mine coal to uh, add to my mixture uh, because there's a local uh, recyclers where I'm going to take my plastics as I uh, remove the plastics from my environment, I'm going to bring coal into my environment because it is my understanding that coal is actually beneficial to what we're doing. It's highly mineralized, lots of gold, platinum, silver, and other essential minerals that we need. The carbon in it helps to uh, the electrolytic process of our bodies Look at that nice mixture, a nice dark. I'm going to look for a, a terracotta. I'm going to make a dark terracotta out of my clay that I've got, and I'm going to put some of my plants into it and do some testing, see how my plants grow and thrive. And I'm also going to uh, see about uh, mud bricks. I'm going to start making mud bricks and build out my garage, my shed, and make that an awesome habitat for some chickens and at least one sheep so that I can get my own wool and sometimes some mutton every once in a while, trade in a baby sheep for an adult and you know how it goes. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, and plus a greenhouse and I'm going to make it all out of uh, earthen bricks I'm in Trinidad, Colorado, so we have that option, I believe, of building in that way. And so I'm going to start. So I have a straw bale that I left that's left over from my gardening from last year that I'm going to use in the same way. I'm going to uh, put my straw on top of my uh, garden bed that I currently have. I'm going to replant that and more. Uh, efficient of a way, a lot more tomato plants. I already have peppers, uh, uh, not peppers, onions and garlic that are growing in there that I planted and I just put some ginger in there which is a semi-permanent location for that. Let's see how that thrives. I bought a ginger root at the supermarket and uh, then I'm, uh, I broke it in pieces, like five or six pieces, and pegged it down into the garden, and see how it goes. I think that'll thrive. So yeah, this is what I'm doing today. I'm sieving out the uh, clay for my Arkansas quartz and adding uh, charcoal into it. So there's already charcoal in the water and in this mix. So I'm not adding it to this one because it's uh, combining 
into it as I do this anyway. I hope you can see that. And there's a denture part. I'm not sure if that's a different type of the clay or if it's just not hydrated enough yet. We'll see. And I'm using a wooden stir stick so that if the wood breaks down a little bit, it kind of acts like straw in the mix. And during the firing process, it's uh, going to uh, add more carbon to the mix. Uh, this is preparation for it's coming springtime 2019. This is March. I don't know. Today's the 13th or so. Yeah, 13th. It's Thursday. Uh, and uh, I'm going to make uh, the clay bricks. I'm going to make a kiln. I'm going to fire the bricks out there and we'll walk through that process. Go through that. Like I said, uh, maybe in the video I made earlier today, if it's the one that's previous to the one you're watching now, that I'm going to be doing some leather work and some work in canvas. If I can't make it myself, I'm going to, I'm, uh, uh, if, I, if I can make it myself, I'm going to do my best not to buy it at this point in time. I just want to make everything as naturally as I can. I'm going to grow my own hemp fibers. To add to the mix, I'm going to make hempcrete. I'm going to look into making hempcrete. Build with that, my fire bricks, vermiculite, things like that. So this is what I'm doing. It's about half hour, an hour out of my day. And that's about enough for one day. And I'll thank you and talk to you again. Have a great afternoon. Many blessings. Chicken coop. Plastics being removed from my life, things I will be replacing with clay, glass, pottery. All right. One thing I just forgot uh, and remembered is that uh, while we're doing these things, uh, we want to consider our whistling and add our whistling to it to harmonize with our own particular song the items that we're creating throughout the process, not just at any one particular time. like that and again create your own bird song your own human song thank you chin ting cut on the counter going into the garden just below the surface
mixing the charcoal in with the clay in preparation for potteries to come doing my best to get a good mix here, a good synergy gotta scrape off the spoon every once in a while gets a good build up on it that's okay there we go, let's do that gotta get into the corners down to the bottom, work it one corner, work one corner, bring it back. Sometimes you gotta use two arms, two hands, the stuff's pretty dense at the bottom. You know, it settles. The clay naturally wants to settle. Ugh. I get this good and mixed I'm going to take this material and put it back in here and let it all kind of meld together I'll give it a good mix and stir at that point again break everything up a little bit there we go progress there. We're not worried if we spill a little bit on the floor. Everything's going to be tile and concrete in here in not too long in the future. Gonna have a nice tile. Oh, we're getting a nice color going with the clay here. Ah. Uh. dense at the bottom in the middle it's only been a little while all day I, I start this is the project I started this morning Try to get a little bit of a slurry going. I want it kind of soupy, like pea soup, so you can get a good, good mix. Getting the charcoal in there. I'm going to add other materials in the not too distant future. Uh, shungite being one of them. I got to crush it up. I got to get shungite powder. I have shungite rocks on the way. I got to get a crusher. So I can crush it up and add it into this material. And that will be, it's a shungite, it's mostly carbon. It is highly energetic material. And uh, it has quantum properties apparently. Uh, so we're going to see what that adds to it. Maybe a little bit of selenite. I have uh, selenite and I'm going to get, uh, I have a little bit of that coming on the, in the way. So this is awesome. All right, that looks good. Let's do what's natural. Dig in. There we go. Uh, gotta get into the corners, there's little corners. The same with like, you know, cake batter or mixing concrete or anything that you're mixing that's a, 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 a 
geopolymer or a dry ingredient like flour or anything like that, you know, or ground meat if you're cooking a, a meatloaf or something like that. Same thing, got to get into the corners, get down into the, all the pockets, move it around. really dense. Oh. Oh. Wow. What a task. Oh. Okay, right. It gets to a consistency now. Oh. That. Oh. Yeah. Gotta get into the bottom. Get the spoon in here. Maybe that'll help. Oh. Yeah, that helps get to the stuff that's crusty up down in there. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, I can't even hold it. <laughs> it's been so long since I played in clay. Since I was a child in the scouts. Oh, got a lifetime of catching up to do. As in my youth, I was a craftsman. My parents taught me all kinds of crafts. Cooking, sewing, leather craft, clay pottery. I had a little, a uh, little plastic electric pottery wheel as a child. I had electronics equipment, hammers and nails and BB guns and all the things you could ever want. I took. Uh, what happened? And uh, uh, so I was a scout from the time I was a child, about five or six until I was about 14. And in my youth, the scouts were about doing woods, woodsy stuff. Arts and crafts as a child, making little balsa wood cars and paint ceramic figurines for holidays and things like that, leather craft. Sewing wallets, making things. I made belts, leather belts, and leather wallets in my youth. Pillows, I sewed pillows at home just for crafts. Something to do, 
to fill my time. My parents had me make a garden as a child, do the gardening, vegetable garden in the backyard. So I'm using all these skills and traits that I've put together, built in life, rebuilding them again in so many ways now. Like this. Oh, this feels great. Oh my goodness. Oh. Let's move some of this material. Oh. I took flying lessons one summer when I was 19. Every Sunday. Oh. For about an hour. Went up in the sky on a single motor. Mo Two seat plane with the instructor at Buell Field out by Styers Apple Farm uh, near Oxford Valley Mall in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. We flew over Bowman's Tower. That was our flying range, our test to our, his school area to fly in. It was safe for him, it was all designated. Uh, wow, this is. Oh no, I need a water. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Middle school, I took metal shop for two years and uh, uh, wood shop for two years. You know, you had 6th, 7th, 8th grade. One year it was two of each, one of one. Of, one, of one. I, uh, they, back then we took science and they taught us actual science. I don't know what they do in today's world, but I had a, a microscope. My parents gave me a microscope. My dad gave me all the great stuff. I had a microscope, a telescope. <sighs> Give me a moment. I need to find a cup, something to pour with. Here we go. Found it. There we go. 